pressing the square button. No, don't do that! Alright, so we've got the, the computer hooked up, um, minus the Ethernet to the controller board, just in case this thing goes pfft. Let's turn on the power. Turn on the computer. No signal detected, that's not good. Alright, when I turned this on, I didn't really hear any extra fans or switches. Only the ones that are coming from here. Okay, so these pins here are power switch, um, reset switch, hard drive activity LED, and a, a neutral common. So if we bridge two of them, there it is. The fan started turning, and I started getting movement. Success. BIOS has been reset. Please decide how to continue. Um, I guess load optimized. This isn't going to work yet. Oh shoot! Any got anybody have a keyboard that looks like this? Ha ha ha! It worked. Okay. Start Windows normally. Hey, it's starting up. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. You got this. You can do this. Come on, no lock screen. No lock screen. Let me in. So far. Yes! <laughs> Touch screen. Well, I mean, it's responsive. It needs calibrated, though. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta calibrate the screen real quick. Touch target. That one. That one. That one. There we go. What about this? Yena CNC. I mean, that's the name of the company, so... Motion modules need initializing. Hit OK to start initializing. Cancel to skip. Okay, so we have access to... Well, we can't get up there, apparently. So, still need a mouse. Software appears to be accessible. Awesome. Kind of a how-to to how to use this thing. That's freaking awesome. Okay. What about this origin support thing? What's it do? Origin manual. What's origin? Oh, so they had two machines. Okay, so it looks like we have all everything we need to run the machine using the original software. So we have two hard drives on here. We have the local with 7.4 gigabytes out of 24.8, and then we have NGC with 4.52. Oh, so these are all the outputs. Okay. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'd be interesting to take some of these and put them into a G-code viewer. Ooh, got a video. Yes! Haha, <laughs> it's the mach- Oh, come on! Oh, it was so close to being- It was- Ah, uh, play again. Well, we almost got to see what the machine looked like in action. What's all this? Oh, here we go. Look at her go. Okay, so he had a webcam external to this, monitoring everything. There you go. Some, uh, some stuff before. I wonder if we can get the same system up and running. Should be able to. This is kind of... I mean, it's, it's a little voyeuristic, right? But it's actually kind of cool, too. Yeah, like, look. Dude, making some teeth. Make it some teeth. Aww. We 
have control of it now. We All right, so we can now jog any of the axes wherever we wish. So if we want That's as far as that goes. So really that axis is quite limited. But A can go quite a ways. That's slow. That's fast. And it looks like it bottoms out. I can't go past, so it's it's smart. It's as far as it goes that way. Z. That's as far as it goes up. As far as it goes down. Oh. Oh. Ooh, communication error. Can we go up? Okay, so Z doesn't. You can crash Z. That's good to know. You can't crash it going up, but you can crash Z going down. Now, there's not a whole lot of tool height if you look. I would like to get some of that back. Because right now, it seems like that would just barely. That might be something to work, look into. Is if we can move that up higher in the future. And this, I believe, is the pump down there. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hit turn on the pump and see where the water comes out. Anything? Not enough water, maybe? It's acting like it wants to go. Anyway, we have to do some cleanup inside of here, so I think I'm gonna get a bucket of water and a brush and just start scrubbing this down and let the drain collect it down below uh, all that material. Look what I got working! That's a uh, that's, that's useful, right? <laughs> I like this machine already. You uh, feel free to ignore the giant puddle that I have uh, created. There was an accident. I overfilled the tank <laughs> like an idiot. Well, all in all, I, I'd say she's looking a lot cleaner. Get a get a head unit on that to cover. She'd look like an actual CNC, I think. I need to get like uh, I need to get like the actual um, you know stuff that you mix in with the water to keep it from rusting because this is just base water right now so hopefully I didn't hose myself literally all right let's uh let's see about cleaning that off yeah what's the word I'm looking for this thing's pretty much made to be like a a machine version of Bobby Duke Arts. That's what it is.
Okay, so after two days with this, this is the results of the build thus far. Uh, we've cleaned out the interior, reattached the touchscreen monitor, um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, we refilled that, confirmed the pump works, and yeah, we've uh, connected most of the loose wires. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. This 24 volt one here. That I want to mess with. Let's hook that up. Okay, we find ourselves here at the back. And uh, here, I believe, is the control board for all the inputs and outputs. So a lot of inputs and outputs here on this card. But the one I'm interested in most is the one that is conspicuously absent. And that is this lamp one here. So you'll notice that it's disconnected. So we have all power off right now, in case anyone's wondering. Right, so then the second cord set down into here. Got all bashed in there, look at that. It's supposed to look like that. <laughs> Oops. Let's see if we can't form these back into something that looks reasonable. Oh, almost. There we go. Well, the brown's the brown at least. So, there's that. <laughs> Alright, let's power this baby on. Alright, boot up complete. So, first step, activate the motor power, activate motor power. Double click, bring up the, op the CNC controller. Man, that thing just weeble wobble, weeble wobble. Look at that. It's crazy. Initialize. Hey, hey the lamp came on. Hey, that looks nice. Cool. Let's see. Machine needs calibration. Hit OK to start. OK. Interesting. Did that home to the back corner last time? It hit the limit switch. It's almost like it went the wrong way. Is it because I messed with the machine coordinates? Because Y is... That should go to zero. So, that I accidentally brushed against that and unhooked it. So that's why my homing wasn't working. <laughs> it works! It works! <laughs> Alright, let's just rehome all the axes. It's Vox! <laughs> home, baby, home. Home, baby, home. Come on. Come on. Big money, big money, no whammy, no whammy. What are you, what are you thinking about? So it must hit a physical stop, and then it says, go down that far from the physical stop. And then that's how it determines. Hmm. I don't know how it determines what level is here, though. How does it know that? Is there, is there something internal to this? Like inside that axis? Hey, it homed! Ha <laughs> ha! Success. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Um... I think now that we've proven that the electronics are good, we're going to get a quote on the spindle and on the motion on the spindle control board. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be salty. I, I, honestly, I, I think what will end up happening is I'll take this off, buy a $400 version of it, uh, and just kind of like, you know, 
wiggle my way through it or yeah anywho uh, now we got to build a cover we got to build a faceplate uh, rear cover and I really like this light it makes it look really nice very cinematic it's very and it's controllable let there be light you know we got the water pump to work gotta like that so we got flood coolant we gotta work on getting the air connected as well uh, check make sure these doors work I hear the solenoid clicking so I expect it'll work uh, yeah slides quite a bit to do yet so I think this will be in a part three for probably spindle installation since that's probably going to take a while and then uh, maybe a fourth part where we actually make something or maybe a fifth because fourth part might be trying to figure out how to which post processor I need to turn what it was a dental milling setup into something that inventor can output oh gosh run they're on to me boys all right I'll see these you got a Y and an X and then a Z and you got A's plus and minus and B plus and minus so if you hit Y negative, right, and then watch. Oh, what just happened? It moved in the Y direction. Now hit Y positive. What? Yeah. 